Hi, I'm Brian Sullivan. Welcome to the Conservatory Courtyard. This sprawling formal space is made up of three courtyards. One directly off the Palm Dome that contains four formal boxwood parterres and two symmetrical courtyards with pools, one containing hardy water lilies and the other tropical water lilies. Scattered throughout the perimeter of the space are displays of annuals, perennials, palms, and other tropical plants. Mounds of bright red inferno coleus are used in mixed plantings. Along with the coleus, the small red flowers of scarlet sage stand out beautifully against the soft gray foliage of the Artemisia Powys Castle. Gray foliage is a great way to unify other colors in the garden, and you can see it used in several places throughout the courtyard. In the center courtyard, which is our most formal space, we have the boxwood parterres. In the center of each bed, we've planted a dramatic specimen of the imperial bromeliad. Each one of these is like a giant flower that can grow up to about five feet across and thrives in the full sun. Alongside, we've added a mystic spirit dahlia with bronze leaves and a light orange coleus that are filling in the other pockets. Another unique plant in the central courtyards are these two large topiary ficus trees. These two plants were given to the garden by the estate of Enid Haupt. An avid gardener herself, Mrs. Haupt must have kept these ficus trees in great shape and we're thrilled to have them as part of a rotating collection of display plants that we use in various places throughout the year. In our tropical pool, we grow one of our most special aquatic plants, the Victoria water lily. These giants from the Amazon love the heat of summer and in fact don't really start to grow until the temperatures heat up in July. By the end of the season, these lily pads, which start off as round fuzzy pads about 12 inches across, could end up to about 5 feet across. Picking up the greens, reds, and grays, the color scheme continues to containers of succulents that are placed on the edge of the pools. So many of the plants outside this summer reflect the diversity of the plants and the living collections that we grow inside the glass house. One thing they all share in common is their love of the full sun in the heat of the New York summer. Another plant featured this year is Papyrus King Tut. This is a dwarf form and planted here at the edge of the pool in a container but would be just as happy growing at the edge of the water. It grows only to about 5 feet, much smaller than the giant papyrus we grow indoors. Its soft stems move gently in the breeze and it's a favorite resting spot for the dragonflies. This year, in addition to our annual display of water lilies and lotus, we added a few cannas, such as this red leaf canna growing directly in the water. Most of us know the South American native as a plant we grow in borders or in containers. However, many will thrive in wet soils or even fully submerged. And this one is loving its summer home in the water. I love how it brings a new color and texture to the pools. Palms are an important part of our glasshouse collections and we use them to their full potential outside in containers. So many have been part of other displays and exhibitions throughout the years, including these Bismarckia palms, which were first featured at the garden during the Frida Kahlo exhibition. With their upright bluish gray fan leaves, they make a great pairing with the soft pink flowers of ruby grass. I hope you've enjoyed this trip with me through the plants on display in the conservatory courtyard this summer. I look forward to seeing you soon.